Ooh, what up chaps, I'm Magical Mike, and this is a guide for the Hammer of Fate Champion Achievement in Brutal Legend. This is a simple, reliable strategy that doesn't use any cheese, and actually lets you play the game as it's intended, without using any of that weird running up and down the stage using a Razor Girl double team strategy thing that d doesn't work, it doesn't work, I've tried it a million times. So, let's get into this one instead, shall we? So you want to go into the multiplayer AI practice, you want to play as Iron Head against the Tainted Coil, obviously on a brutal difficulty, and the map you want to pick is going to be Coiled Remains. It's because it's small and you can exploit some of the weaknesses in the AI here. So, start of the strategy, very important. Immediately make three sets of Razor Girls and summon a flag about halfway down your stairs. The faster you get this stuff done, the more efficient you can... the more efficient you can be and the more reliable the strategy is going to be. It all hangs on what you do in the first couple of minutes in this fight. So I set my rally point there, and then I immediately fly over to Diviculus's area, his, his stage, and take out his nun, and avoid his, his chain solo, because I don't want any part of that. And that... that's basically set us up for a really easy winning strategy already. Um, he's got one set of units, if you kill that nun as fast as possible, and you can prevent the punishing party from coming out, you're going to have a much easier time, because he's going to have to spend a load more fans getting his nun out, and then start actually building up his, his hierarchy units. So, again, going to go straight back to his stage, because he's going to go and try and put out another nun, and just barely kill it before the, uh, the next set of soul kisses comes out, which is dramatically slowing down his production. And right now I have three sets of Razor Girls. I've made a, a, a fourth set, which I'm now telling to go over to the Fan Leech. I have four sets of Razor Girls and a Thunderhog that's just now being made. And he's got one set of Soul Kisses and a Nun. He now has two sets of Soul Kisses and a Nun. The amount of momentum that he's lost is huge at this point, so I've already got this fan geyser. He hasn't even taken out his leech yet. I'm gonna quickly play the fan tribute and then rally these guys over to these soul kisses that are now gonna harass me. Like, they've, they've no chance. They've absolutely no chance at all. Should be an easy kill. And uh, yeah, just ignore those and move on. Again, the whole strategy relies on you just going over to his stage and harassing his nuns whenever possible. If you can take out a nun while it's basically doing nothing, then you can prevent punishing parties and stuff coming out. And basically just romp all over the, the whole battle without any cares in the world. It's very easy. So, punishing parties... I guess I'll talk about the units. Punishing parties are fairly weak on their own. If Diviculus manages to double team them, or double team with them, they can become dangerous, but for the most part they're not. Your Razor Girls will absolutely decimate these things. Um, if you're fighting them yourself, don't focus on the Gimp, because it doesn't do anything. Just kill the, the four pin throwers, or whatever they're called, and take them out that way. And the Soul Kisses are pretty weak anyway. They take a long time to kill, but don't worry about it. In the meantime, you notice I'm still on four Razor Girls and one Thunderhog, and I've just started making a stage upgrade. Don't make any more units than what you need, because honestly, you just... If Diviculus decides he wants to attack those Razor Girls, he's probably going to die, because he's got no units. And three, three or four sets of Razor Girls can absolutely destroy him, as they did about 30 seconds ago, maybe a minute ago now. And, uh... Yeah, just try and get battlefield control. Keep keep an eye on what's going on in the battle. I know he's got, like, one set of soul kisses and two nuns at the moment. I've been slacking on the harassment. But we're now taking out his fan geyser thing. And uh, he's basically doing nothing with his units right now. So I can just slowly work on these guys until that punishing party catches up with me. And at this point I'm going to retreat because, well, that's a lot of units and I don't want to die. Anytime you do kill Diviculus, it's an extra 50 fans, so that speeds up the stage upgrade production. And when you do get your first stage upgrade, you want to start building Fire Barons. One or two sets of Fire Barons is more than enough. And they're going to 
basically counter any of his t first tier units that he's going to get. And it's going to be an absolutely easy time regardless because he's just never going to be able to upgrade to uh, Warfathers and do anything with that if you've been harassing him correctly. Another thing you want to keep note of, if you're with your units, you want to try and keep them buffed with the battle cry. If you're fighting, then stop and go buff your units because they're going to do a whole lot more damage than you are on your own. And that's going to be amplified with the battle cry. And basically, that's it. So, that's my second set of Fire Barons is coming out now. I have both of the fan geysers down here, and all he has is this one set of four soul kissers, which is weak and slow, and it's going to take forever to kill this thing. So I've got all the time in the world while my stage upgrades and while my fire barons, and still four sets of razor girls on one thunderhog, take out basically everything that Deficulus can throw at me. Because he is so fan starved at this point that he just can't produce units. He's still trying to produce nuns and then get some units out so that he can actually get some momentum to upgrade his stage to Warfathers, which he just will never do at all in this thing, because he's just he's just not got enough fans for it. If you get unlucky and you do manage to not prevent him from getting Warfathers, don't worry about it, your Fire Barons can still take out Warfathers very very easily, and Skullrakers too. Although they are pretty scary, they're actually not that bad. Another vital part of the plan is uh, you need to stand on the uh, on the Thunderhog and say hello to Lemmy for like 10 seconds. Uh, that's completely vital and not a mistake at all on my part, don't worry about it. And, <laughs> and that's it, yeah. Upgrade your stage again, because you've got way more fans than you actually need at this point. Make one or two sets of roadies and then start advancing on his stage, because you can see he's just got zero units at this point. It's, it's a joke. Like, he's he's got nothing he can do. If you do get to a point where you start encountering Warfathers and Skullrakers, you can actually take them out on your own. They actually are not very difficult at all. So don't worry about it, you and your Fire Barons will absolutely destroy a Skullraker, and there's no way he's going to be able to produce more than one at once. So that's it. If you uh, if you get attacked by Deviculus at any point, when you have your army with you, don't waste your time attacking him on your own. Like, there's no point at all. But if he attacks you when your army's nearby, make sure that you try and pr play the Anvil of Burden solo, so he doesn't fly off and you can get that free extra 50 fans. And just capitalise on that. Keep your momentum going and stop him from being able to do anything, and that's it. This is me just kind of taking the pace, really. I don't need these fan geysers, but I'm going to take them anyway because they're harder to kill when you take them. And that's really it. He's just not going to be able to do anything. Just don't make any units that you don't need. And uh, keep your unit composition very focused, and he won't produce anything weird like pain lifters. Or anything <laughs> at this point. I'm going to rock block him as well. Which I suppose I could have been doing at any point, but it's just not necessary really. This is just the final nail in the coffin. I could also use Light of Dawn for a, another kick in the face or whatever. And remember you do have Call of the Wild to deal with things like Tick Choppers if he does manage to summon them. But honestly, that battle was over within the first two minutes and it was just going through the motions at that point. So there you go. Just do that nine more times and uh, you'll get the achievement. So I've been Magical Mike, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.